Creole parametric is normally not backwards compatible. And in this video, we'll cover the exception to that restriction. By backwards compatible, I mean that if you have a model that was saved in a newer version of Creole parametric, you're not able to open up that model in an older version of Creo Parametric. For example, right now I am in Creo Parametric 6.0. I'm in the 6.0.2.0 build code. And also just to verify that if I go to file, help, and then about Creo Parametric, I can again verify which version of Creo Parametric that I am in. I'm gonna close this window and minimize my Creo Parametric 6.0 and go to Creo Parametric 4.0 that I also have open at the same time. So now here we are in the Creo Parametric 4.0 window. Here it tells me that I'm in 4.0. All I've done is I've set my working directory to the same folder that I opened that other, other part from. And again, I can go to File, Help, About Creo Parametric, and in the window here it confirms that I am in 4.0. Let's try to open up that same file in 4.0. I'll go to File Open, and that was this part over here, VSS Bottle Creo 6. I'll click the Open button, and you see that I got a bunch of errors here. It says, this file was created in a newer release of Creo Parametric. It's not a valid part file, it cannot be retrieved tells me multiple times that I can't open this up in Creo Parametric 4.0. In order to open something up from a newer version of Creo Parametric and an older version of Creo Parametric, you have to use something called GCRI. And that is short for the Granite Cross Release Interoperability. Granite is the name of the kernel that powers Creo Parametric and the rest of it of the acronym stands for cross-release, going from one release to another, interoperability. And let's see how to do this. I'm going to exit out of Creo Parametric 4.0. And on my desktop, I've got Windows Explorer open in two different windows. And one is in my Creo 6.0 load point, and the other one is in my Creo 4.0 load point. We're going to move or copy a file from the 6.0 load point into the 4.0 load point. And where you wanna go is wherever you have Creo 6.0 installed on your computer or whatever your newer version that you want to enable interoperability for. In this case, I'm using Creo 6.0.2.0. Go to the common files folder, and then there's a folder for your machine version. My machine version is x86e underscore win64. Yours might be different. And here we have GCRI, the GCRI folder, and there is a DLL file called read newer models. We're going to take that library file and we're going to copy it into the load point of the earlier version. In this case, I want to be able to open up a Creo 6.0 file and Creo 4.0. So you'll go to the load point. Mine happens to be in program files PTC. Here is Creo 4.0. Here is the build code. Then you're going to go to common files and the machine type again, x86e win64. And instead of going to the GCRI folder like you do in the newer version, you're going to go to the OBJ folder in the older version. And you'll see that it's got a bunch of different files in here already. And some of them have that DLL extension uh, for the different, was it download link libraries or whatever DLL stands for. So I'm going to right click on this file here and choose to copy it. Then go over to this other window, which currently does not have, let me scroll down over here to prove it to you. It does not have that read newer models.dll file. Let me right click and choose paste. Yeah, it says I need administrator permission. So you do need administrator permissions in order to do this. And now we have that file copied over from the newer version into that specific location in the older version. Now I'm going to fire up Creo Parametric 4.0 again, and once again, try to read in that file. 
Okay, here I am back in Creo Parametric 4.0. I'm just going to hit the open button. I'm not going to bother setting my working directory. I'm going to go to where that Creo 6.0 file is. Here it is, VSS Bottle Creo 6. Actually, let me see if I can grab the message area and make it wider uh, or longer before I try to open it. So here's that same file I just tried to open before. I'll click the open button. And now I get this warning window that says, you are opening a Creo parametric part created in Creo 6.0. Would you like to proceed opening it as a granite model? Again, granite is the name of the kernel that was created for Pro Engineer and is now used in Creo parametric. I'm going to say, okay. And now we're able to open up the file. And again, I get the geometry, but You'll notice if you take a look at the model tree that these are all read-only features. And I can expand this. You can see that we have the datum planes and the curves. And here it calls it a protrusion. In my newer version, it was actually a sweep uh, feature. And it's got a different symbol next to it in the model tree as opposed to your traditional part symbol. But again, I was able to open up this part in the older version and I'm able to do stuff with it now. At least I can, I've got the geometry in my computer. So there is limited backwards compatibility with Creo Parametric if you copy that GCRI file from the newer version to the older version. And this works for parts and assemblies. I can open up assemblies that were created in Creo Parametric the later version in the older version. And one restriction to be aware of is that typically GCRI, I believe, only works backwards three versions. So for example, if my current version was Creo 6.0, the oldest I could open up is typically three versions earlier or Creo Parametric 3.0 for a Creo Parametric 6.0 file. If I have a Creo Parametric 5.0 file and I enable GCRI in an older version. I can go all the way back to Creo Parametric 2.0. Another thing to mention, GCRI actually has a few different functions in it. And in order to get the full functionality out of GCRI, I recommend setting a few different config.pro options. And for that, I'm going to go back to Creo 6.0 where I like to make my different changes and apply them there. All right, here I am in Creo Parametric 6.0. I'm going to set a few different options in here. So I'll go to File, Options, and then Configuration Editor. Let's click the Find button, and I'm going to use the keyword ATB, and then hit Find Now. And there are a few different options I'm going to set here. First off, ATB Show Log, the default is On. I'm going to set that to Off and then add change that one. Another one that we're going to do is ATB auto check on update and the default for that is off, which is good. I wanna make sure that that one stays off. So I'm just gonna make sure that's in my config file. And the other one is for retrieve. The default for that one is on. Let's add change that one as well. So those are a few recommended settings. For the other option I'm gonna set, for one of the other different functions in GCRI. I'm gonna look for CRI, and here we have this one for CRI grafting enable. The default value for that one is set to no. I'm going to set that one to yes, and then add change and close out of here. Let's export per the con current configuration and save my config.profile and then click OK. So that is going to enable additional GCRI functionality, which I'll talk about in a, another video. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.